One of the simplest ways to enhance your statement of a melody on guitar is to be able to harmonize the melody in thirds. Working your way through a tune that you already know can teach you a lot about fingering options and harmony in general and how to make a melody sound a little better by adding just one note to it. We've got the old standard out of nowhere. stated with enhanced by full chords. And by developing the ability to do this, even if you just harmonize one phrase every once in a while, it'll make the whole experience so much more complete and a lot more interesting and get you used to finding a second part. By just doing two notes you have more choices and more fingers available than being locked into a whole sequence of, of chords, you know, rather than something like this. And eventually you'll get enough flexibility you can improvise phrases with these thirds and have some fun with it. Naturally, like any, like any device or any texture, you need to decide how much of it you want to use, and sometimes less is more. But if you develop the ability to use it through a whole tune, you can pick and choose which phrases you decide to harmonize. And, and always know where the third of the chord is and be able to accent that or reach it in the development of your line. The third is going to determine the harmony because it's either major or minor. It's the thing that our ears picks out first when they hear a chord. And if you're able to know where the thirds are in a harmony, it'll help, your, it'll help you make that sound convincing and make your lines sound like you're playing a tune rather than a scale over a bunch of chords. One way to develop the skill of, of making it sound clear is to play the notes of a melody and in the rests, the breaths between the phrases of the melody, you can insert the third of whatever the harmony is whether it's major or minor, now I help to guide the listener's ear. Now I was showing this idea to a friend and student up in New York some years ago. I uh, have to give him credit, Richard Miller, he's a wonderful classical and Brazilian guitar player in New York City. And he said, that's a good idea. You should write me out an etude showing how to do that. So I did. <laughs> so this is a little etude you'll get with this class to illustrate. Almost. Oh. 